I guess I don't really fit into the LGBT kind of thing myself. Oh, that's fine. I, was, I was more here for my friends. I wanted to show support yeah. for my friends. Yeah, for your friends. Yeah. What do you think the purpose of Pride is? Um, well, it's it's it was it's been a repressed culture for decades. Like lots of persecution that's completely, you know, not on. Like yeah. disgusting, I think. And like I think it's just kind of a celebration of how far we've come, really. Celebration of people and how those people choose to express themselves. Yeah, I and, mean, I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I was no, say, like, not... If you were to put it in a one word, could you could you say what is it is that we're celebrating? Um, I, I probably just humanity. humanity? Like, yeah, I'd, I'd say it's just uh, it's been treated as like kind of like a non-human kind of thing for so long that I think it's time that we kind of accept it as like you know it's what people do it's how people choose to be how people are you know see i would have if i was to pick one word i think i'd choose equality what do you think about that yeah well that's yeah that's just as good of a word you i'd think, say so, yeah definitely so like do you think that the differences that were used for prejudices let's say like uh, to treat gay people as to you know repress them yeah or do you think that you know um to treat like you know to enslave black people and other cultures and other groups mm. do you think that these are justified or like what 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 do you think is an unjustified premise to cause harm to someone um basically everything you've said i'd say is completely unjustified you know like the way i see it and the way i've always seen it is we're all just you know people we're all from you know this planet like what's the point of treating anyone different based on something that they are really like so you'd say all humans matter all humans, all definitely. Humans. What about what about like uh, like cats and dogs? Do you think we should hurt them or like should we? Like, so if I was to get a dog and you know if I was to stop beating it, would you say that would be okay or would you want to stop us? Well, no, because you know it's you know it's it's people and it's living creatures really. Just I think all life is valuable. All life is valuable. All life is valuable. So like you'd say like hurting a dog for an unnecessary cause that that would be like morally wrong. Yeah, definitely. Okay. What about uh, cows, chickens, and pigs? Um. So if I was to get a cow, and I was to do the exact same thing, like I was to start beating it for fun. Yeah, I wouldn't agree with beating it for fun. I mean, I can't, like, it, it'd be unfair for me to say that, like, shouldn't harm them at all because I eat meat, and that'd be really hypocritical, wouldn't yeah. it? So, like, it's, it's quite, that's a difficult one for me personally. Like, I do think all life matters, but at the same time I eat meat, it's, like, quite a difficult area. So why do you, why do you eat meat? <laughs> Just because I always have, really, it's it, it really is like a, just kind of grown up, eating meat, I've just... Oh, same. Meat. I did exactly the same, I've, yeah. yeah. Um, do you think that just because you always have, do you think that justifies you doing it? Um, I wouldn't say it justifies it, no. I mean, I, I understand why people wouldn't want to eat meat and why people wouldn't want other people eating meat, but it's, it, it's something I choose to do and it's something my family chooses to do and, like... Whether it's wrong or not, I don't really think it's for me to say, because that's it's an area I don't I haven't really tackled before. You know what I mean? What do you think wrongdoing is? So, like, what did what what is an action which would you would say would be wrong? Like, how would you characterize it? <sighs> um, like, I, I guess just just prejudice and attacks really. Like, I get the. Like farming and animals and eating meat is kind of like an old human tradition but then you also might use the argument against me that like you know the prejudice against like these people has also been a long human tradition so it's, it's tricky it's really tricky and like I, I really don't <laughs> I don't really have like kind of a stance on it to be honest because it is a tricky touchy subject yeah and a lot of things are but you know some things I feel I, I'm more knowledgeable on than others, oh, and this really isn't one that I'm quite. Oh, that's knowledgeable fine. On. I mean, I wasn't for a long time, you yeah. know, and that's what it's about. It's about like once you like you, you gain new knowledge, you can change and, and grow, you know. And I think that um, if I was to ask you a question, like, do you think that we need meat, dairy, and eggs to be healthy and um, you know survive? Um, I'm I'm personally gonna say yeah. Like, I'm I'm personally gonna say like because of stuff like protein and calcium and stuff that it is I'm not saying that it's, it's vital it's 100% needed but I, I get that there's a lot of people that want to consume that and you know what if I was to say like protein like 
you could get protein in some of the cheapest forms possible and you know in forms that wouldn't damage your kidneys for example uh, from beans lentils legumes and actually there's a new documentary coming out called game changers right. about you know vegan athletes one of them is called Patrick Baboumian and he holds the world record for the oak lift which is uh, powerlifting. Okay. And uh, there's there's plenty more. There's plenty more vegan athletes. Nate Diaz, I think he's a vegan athlete. Um, and there's like loads of powerlifters around the world that are vegan. You can find some vegan YouTubers, let's say Vegan Gains, yeah. John Venus, all these, uh, you know, get the protein that they need from plants. Mm -hmm. So given that, uh, and you know, you get your calcium, you get that from leafy greens, you can also get it from fortified milks and, you know, even things like soy. Yeah. So given that we can get everything that we need to be healthy, do you think we're justified in taking the life of another for any other reason? <laughs> well, pr prob probably not. I don't think we're really justified in it, but I guess, you know, like I said about, you know, pride and uh, civil rights, uh, it took a while for maybe in a hundred years we'll all be eating these yeah, protein for, uh, uh, yeah maybe even sooner like you, you never know you really you can't really tell maybe it'll maybe maybe you know things like this will change everyone's mind what about you what do you think you would ever change your mind um, yeah probably I, I, I definitely could I could see myself doing that I mean I have started recently like I know you know I don't just eat that I, I sometimes I eat like vegan kind of yeah. substitutes for meat sometimes I have like almond milk a yeah, bit of almond yeah. milk and you know you can like even things like soya high in protein yeah. and, and and if I was to say to you that uh, if I was to give you some like vegan resources and like a vegan 20 day 22 day vegan challenge mm -hmm. would you consider doing it um yeah I'd definitely consider doing it I'd probably even take it up you know because like it's not like I have anything against vegans or veganism or vegetarian it's, it's, it's just not something I've like lived myself um, I can see myself doing it I'm not sure whether I will or not but you know yeah, I mean like I mean, if you look at it like if you you stand for equality don't you yeah and you think that if I was to harm a chicken or a pig here today that would be wrong for fun and you've just said that we don't need to do it so that means that the only other reason that would be doing it would be for pleasure or convenience which is what has been used to justify you know the countless oppression of various groups throughout yeah. history mm -hmm. that maybe that notion of equality would be in contradiction with your actions yeah, yeah, it's, you know, you raise a good point, and I think, I'm not... So given that, mate, given that, I'm not gonna, yeah. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, keep going, but uh, <laughs> given that, if I was to give you some resources, have you got like a phone, I can give you like a right, few... It's completely out of charge. Is so. it completely out of, uh, well, do you, I haven't got a pen or anything, do I? Have you heard of, uh, have you got Facebook? Yeah, I do. Do you think you could remember Challenge 22? Yeah, definitely. Challenge yeah. 22. Challenge, challenge 22. It's a 22 day vegan challenge. Mm -hmm. you, can get, there's, you can get given a mentor on there so that if you've got any queries, any problems, anything to do with health related stuff, anything with like convenience and how to eat it eat cheaper, healthier, you know, anything like that, you can gain health. And a few documentaries if you're interested. Right. On Netflix, there's What the Health. Mm -hmm. So that's about like the health side of it. There's also Cowspiracy. You might have probably heard of that one. That's the environment. Right. And on YouTube, I would recommend Land of Hope and Glory. That's about what happens in the highest welfare farms, standard industry practice around the UK. Okay. Right. Sounds like it's going to be scary. Oh, it's not nice. One last thing, mate. It's one last question. Yeah. Do you think that the values of pride, that are, you know, the value of equality, mm. and that is celebrated here today, should that be applied to non-human animals? Um, yeah. I, yeah. I think that, you know, I mean, it would be, it would be really contradictory for me to just, like, say all this stuff about how all people should be equal and then turn around and say that all living things shouldn't be equal. It's really open-minded of you, man. Yeah. <laughs> it, it would be really hypocritical of me. And, um, you know, I'll, I'll look up these things that you've told me to and I'll, I'll definitely, you know, give it my own try. Yeah. Like, do what I can. That's because, great. I mean, I think the closer we get to the equality, I think the closer we get to a perfect species, to be honest. Like a, a better existence for everyone. A better existence for everyone and everything. I'd yeah. Say. That's, that's exactly that's exactly what I would say. Well, thank you very much. Oh, thanks to you. Thank, thank you. you. Thanks Have a nice much. day there. Thank you. Yeah, we're done now. But until we attack some of that capitalism, that veganism isn't going to get out there because well, all they're going to do is buy what. Do we you not think that you're morally obligated to be a vegan and anti-capitalist if you what your goal is is for equality? Then, in this country or across the world.